People in Spokane County still have time to register to vote and you can even do it on election day. But instead of going to the elections office, you'll need to go to the Spokane Arena. New at 5, Caitlin Knapp shows us why the office has moved into the arena. This is the first time that the arena has been converted into a makeshift elections office. Over the next two days, you'll find workers registering voters, handing out replacement ballots or replacement envelopes. Normally, the arena would be hosting a concert or a hockey game. This election is one for the history books. Instead? So we are in the arena and this is where we will have voters coming on Monday and Tuesday. This is a first for the elections office. Our little facility with only 30 parking spaces just simply cannot handle the volume of folks coming in. So when you step inside the arena from the main exhibit hall, you you'll be asked what you need. You'll fill out a form. We'll take care of you right then and there. You can register to vote, get a replacement ballot or envelope. But we expect up to another 2,000, maybe even 3,000 more registered voters in just the next two days. After, you can fill out your ballot in one of these two rooms. Also available, a machine to help people with vision or physical impairments. They'll also have temporary drop boxes both inside and out. Dalton said your ballot has to be in a drop box or postmarked by 8 on election day. It must be in a USPS collection bin before the last pickup time that's posted on that bin. But the earlier you get it in, the better. As of Friday, more than 65% of ballots have been returned. What it means is people really want to make their voice heard in this election. They want to state their opinion and they want to do it with their ballot. Now, don't forget the elections office is closed. If you want to register to vote or get a replacement ballot or envelope, you need to come here. They'll be open tomorrow from 830 to 4 and then on Tuesday from 7 in the morning to 8 at night. Reporting in Spokane, Caitlin Knapp, 4 News Now.